Welcome back, everyone. We are getting crafty today because it's National Children's Craft Day, so we're breaking out the canvas and paint and learning how to make paint pour art. I like it. And what better way to learn than with Juliet Morris from Valley Art Supplies and her kids to show us how it's done. Glad yeah. to have you all here. Thanks. Thanks. Julia, who'd you bring first? So, Everest and Sierra. They helped me uh, last week. We made a couple because we've never done it before, but we've seen the videos and I'm yeah. like, let's try it. We already have all this paint. And these are some that you've already made. Yes, we made those last week. They're cool. And they there's are pretty neat. many different yeah. techniques to do it. So we thought we'd show you a couple here. Did you pick the messiest technique for yep. us? Yeah, Good. I did. Okay. Perfect. Children's so we, craft day, right? We all have our aprons, so <laughs> yes. let's do it. So what you so I had the kids just a second ago. What you're gonna want to do is grab some paint. Now what type um, of paint are, are you you're using? You're gonna use any water-based acrylic paint. You can use a fluid acrylic paint. Um, every cup of paint needs to have a little bit of pouring medium added to it, but I've done that prior because we that have all this it? paint. It uh, thins it, it makes it thinner to flow, more oh, flowy, and okay. then all the paint is going to adhere perfectly um, to your canvas. And you saw that? It helps that it want? flow, yes. Valley okay. Art Supplies, Valley we can Art pick supplies. all this up? Yes, okay, I had come a check this out. So do some colors, and what you're going to want to do is grab an empty cup, and a clear cup helps good because you can see all your colors that you're doing. So I'm just gonna pour, like I said, the kids already did it. So what the, you can do, Sierra, is you can take a strainer, a kitchen sink strainer, and these are just canvas panels that are already gessoed. Mm -hmm. You can do a proper- sorry, what? Yep, yeah, pour it in. What's a gesso? gesso? Gesso is a white acrylic pr primer. Ah, so if okay, you paint so they're on, prepped. If you paint on something, you that way the gesso prevents the paint from seeping into whatever you're painting. Got it. So Sierra, I'm just gonna do Sierra first. So she's pouring into a little strainer. So she layered her paint in a cup like I'm doing, and now she's gonna let the strainer Ooh. do all the work. And it is, yeah. see how, look how beautiful. Yeah, so Everest neat. is gonna do a different technique, I'll help you. So we don't mix the paint, you wanna you keep don't it mix separate it. Yep, and you layer. You keep it, mix it, and layer it like this in the cup. Oh, God, and it stays it. kind of separate though. Yes, it stays a little separate, you okay? We'll wash <laughs> you off after. So he has a thick canvas, so I'm just gonna grab it, and I'll flip it for you, and I'll let you take the cup off, okay? So you're just gonna do this. And this is where it comes, this is called the dirty pour for oh, a reason. Okay. okay. So Everest we'll is gonna lift, back. he's gonna lift it up gently. Otherwise known as the paint it's bomb. It's fine, it's fine, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. And then what you do is you grab it when you're ready. You wanna take this off? Oh, I want it. Oh, the so we, what we, <laughs> from this point, you just grab it. You ready? Nice effect And then you there. just yeah. cover, and he has a deep canvas, so he's yeah. gonna cover all of his edges. All sides. And if you need to add more paint, so with technique, you can do crazy different things. Well, I'll I can see how kids one. would really enjoy this because it's hands-on right. and it's messy. Yeah, and it's messy, and you get a little creative, and you can do whatever colors you want, but I'll do another one. And you set up a pretty easy setup here so you can do it at home and not get too messy all over yes, the table. Yes, yes. Yeah, like, indeed. these are just little aluminum trays. But I Honestly, I use a 99-cent shower curtain at home. I'm sorry. Yeah. And just cover whatever work surface you're idea. doing it's like with, a the right. with the shower curtain. Right. Yeah. With a big shower curtain tarp. So you do this cool stuff. Now you use the same method that we just saw over yeah, here. Just but different colors. This is a flat canvas it's a flat instead canvas. of canvas. What'd you call this one? A uh, stretched canvas. Stretched, stretched canvas. canvas. And see all the paint that I'm getting on the bottom? Sierra, if you get that little square canvas next to you, all the paint that's being discarded on the on the bottom of mm -hmm. us, you can yeah. dip Sierra, you can dip that in here. Or you have some over there. And you can make another little extra piece. So nothing really, goes to waste. Right. There's really no right or, right or wrong way of doing this, but it changes. So, you know what this so reminds why don't you pick yours up, honey? The 70s. I feel like yeah. we're tie-dying or yeah. something Yeah, here. sure, yeah. like marbling. It's got a psychedelic mm -hmm. look. So with this right. one, you just pick this up, toss it aside, and look at the cool colors. Oh, that is I'll neat. help you. It's neat. Do this. And then when this is when you're done... It's like you, a Grateful Dead I album know, cover. Yeah. <laughs> Time, there's another canvas near Everest, Okay, we'll so once we have the paint, yep. you know, the desired thickness mm -hmm. spread over the canvas, how long should we wait for it to dry? Oh gosh, dry? at least 24 hours. But before that, I wanted to say, if you spritz your paint with a yeah. little bit of rubbing alcohol, mm -hmm. it pops a lot of these air bubbles that are in your paint. Yep. As, you, as you do it, you can see little air bubbles. And then it makes it look like a cool technique like uh, almost like a galaxy technique or something. The alcohol does something interesting with the medium Adds and the paint. another Whole effect. Other effect. Yeah. yeah. So oh, I yeah. love how the colors stay separate. Too. Yeah. Really so neat. that look how that's so cool. Good job, Messy guys. Messy and cool, but yeah, you guys love it. Come we and get, get some paints. <laughs> we can All right. Get tips, tricks, and paints. <laughs> clean up on aisle four. <laughs> clean up on aisle four. Juliet, thanks yeah. so much. Where can we see and get all these art supplies? Seventy-six Cottage Street, East Hampton Valley Art Supplies. All right. Excellent. Thanks, guys. <laughs>